Hi Speechies, it's Lisa. Welcome back to Speech Fairies. Today I have a game to share that I found interesting. It's called the Royal Wall. I was happy to find this one because this one is one of the toys that we have tested in the past and we redonate them after we test them. So that was on a website called The Noise on Toys. I'll try to link that down below so you can see some of our reviews. So there's the back of the box. So we've been toy testing for many years. I would say we toy tested for nine years before we started our YouTube channel. So we have a lot of our reviews are online for it. So any toy that you've seen out there in the last nine or ten years, we might have seen and reviewed on the Noise on Toys. Before the Noise on Toys, we also did today's parent magazine. So we have done lots and lots of toy testing in the past, so we know a good one when we see it. I did find this one thrifting, $4.99. We don't know what's inside, but we're gonna check it out. It's for ages three and up, for two to four players, and dancers spin to the music. So hopefully it has some batteries in it, so we can get it going. So this is where we test to see if we got all the pieces. We're supposed to get one musical motorized dance floor, check. 10 dancing figures, 30 cards, and one rule. So we got the rules and the dance platform. So now we have to see if we have 10 dancing figures and bases and 30 cards. So the figures just go in these little bases. So there's the king, having a great time. Pop them into the dance floor. The wicked stepmother. We've got the prince. We've got the fairy godmother. I can't remember his name, but he is the king's right-hand man. We have the birds, Anastasia and Drizella. I don't know which one's which. Got those two. And we got Cinderella. So we do have one extra base. There is one ex there was one extra hole. So I'm not sure which character is missing. So the one that is missing are the two little mice. But I think we could maybe make those. Easy enough. Print a picture. Put it on a stand because we already have the stand part. That's irreplaceable. But we can find them and make the mice. Unless they're hidden in here with the cards. Let's check the cards. I think they're supposed to be 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then there are cards that say dance, and that's when we press the button. One, two, three, four, five, six dance cards. Oh, we're still missing a card. These ones are pass. Each player pass one card to the left. No big deal if we're missing one of those. So there are four jewels around the base of the dance platform. And so each player chooses a color. So on my side it's green, so I'll be green. And when my daughter comes, she can be pink. The dance floor is divided into quadrants. So anything in this quadrant that lands in this quadrant is in where my jewel is, are fair game for me. So it's kind of hard to explain to kids, I guess, but we could, I just call them sections and they're okay with it. So we shuffle the cards and put them face down near the dance floor. And during the game, we'll also create a discard pile. We can shuffle the cards together, no problem. And I'm just on a family trip. <laughs> so we've got our royal cards right here. Everybody just takes a turn, draw one card, and place it in front of you. If it's a character card, place it face up in front of you. If it's a dance card, then we push the button. So this will be my opponent's turn. Oh, they also got the same guy as I did. Here's Cinderella. Here's the prince for Zara. Here's a prince for me. So I didn't shovel them very well. Cinderella for her. We have all the same characters now. Birds. And she got the wicked stepmother. So did I. She got birds too. So we haven't come across a dance card yet. And this one is the fairy godmother. And she got that one too because I didn't shuffle. 
very well at all. Okay, so here's where the magic happens. We get to press the button. We'll see if there's actually batteries in this thing. And if it lands in my quadrant and I have a match, I can take it. If it matches on her quadrant, then she can take the character. So it's pretty cute. So in, it's right on the line for me, and likely for her too, so we'll just go to the left. So I can take the Wicked Stepmother because she's on my side, and I can take Cinderella because she's in my quadrant, and I can take the Prince. And she can take this guy and the King. Oh wait, no, she doesn't have the King. I have the King. So she, I got three points there, and she got one. So I just keep picking cards. My turn. Oh, we gotta do a dance again. <laughs> you can work on spin. You can work on dance. The S at the end. Oh, there's lots in my quadrant, and none in hers. So I have the birds. I have the very good one. Yes. That's it. So that's kind of how it goes. It goes by fast, but you get the idea. And that's pretty much it. Because the gameplay is so quick, again, I didn't shuffle very well. So how to make this game last longer for our preschoolers is that we can they can earn each piece to put into the base. So that makes it go a little bit slower. So if you're working on the S final, we, so we pick this dance game. Or S in general, any cards you can do. So you can see your card, and then you get a little character, and you get to put them on the base, ready for it, ready to dance. So for S blends, you could do stand or stay, and you could also do spin. The S as well, you could do same. So when you find the same character, you can say same. There is a special scoring section. So if you end up with, do you see the hearts right above the cards? That's how many points you have. Cinderella has four hearts, so she's worth four points for every Cinderella that you get. And the prince is only worth three hearts. So you can count up your points at the end of the game. Good plurals in here too. So that's it for that game. Pretty good. One missing one piece, but I think it's because the box was open from the wrong side. We may find it, or we may make a new one. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have anything to add, any extra goals I missed. Share this video. Let others know about the speech fairies. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. For those who have, we appreciate every single one of you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you very soon. Bye for now, everyone.